towards the boxing ring is Eduardo Teodoro Beckford of Panama. Big moment for the 30-year-old. And his opponent is from Sierra Leone, Mohamed Silla, approaching the boxing ring. Both of these men about to make their world championship debut here in Belgrade. So there is Mohamed Silla, the man who just inserted the mouthpiece. is Tony Cisse, who represented Repton and indeed Sierra Leone with such distinction. That's the man on the outside of the ropes just holding them open. As Mohamed Silla enters the boxing ring ahead of his world championship debut, the equipment of Eduardo Beckford checked over in the other corner, the man from Panama City. So both boxers called to centre ring to receive their final instructions from the referee. So Valeriu Bandalek just checking that everything is in place and as it should be before he calls time to get this bout underway. So action in the 71 kilogram light middleweight division between boxers from Panama and Sierra Leone. The southpaw wearing red is Eduardo Tierford Teodoro Beckford. 30 years of age, part of a three-man Panamanian boxing team. The man tucking up behind high-held gloves before getting on the front foot is Mohamed Stiller. From Freetown in Sierra Leone, 27 years of age, six men on the Sierra Leone boxing team. Left hand between the gloves wasn't too far away, but that was a rather telegraphed right hand from Silla. My goodness. Signaled it from last week and a sharp southpaw left. Snakes between the gloves of the man in blue. Well, there's plenty of commitment and aggression behind the work of Silla, but his work a little bit languid at the moment and he was launching his attack from too far away well beyond punching range, just as he is with that left jab. He'd go downstairs effectively to score with the right hand to the body. You can see he's reaching for the puncher to such an extent as he's picked off by a southpaw left once again. There's the same shot in evidence once more, but he's reaching for the puncher to such an extent as Beckford drops down with a good straight left to the body, and he's often off balance and presenting what is effectively a stationary target, and that's not the bell to end the action in ring A. We're only halfway through the opening round, and it was Beckford who responded most quickly after that little bit of confusion and let his hands go to score himself and earn himself a couple of free shots. So just beyond the midpoint of the opening round, Silla looking to find a range, but hasn't yet done so with any consistency. That jab was blocked by the forearms of Beckford, Silla continuing to faint and watch and wait, but he hasn't yet found a range with his attempt at offense. Been beaten to straight punches there, and now the right hand lead from the southpaw Beckford jolts the head of Silla backwards. Right uppercut wasn't too far away. The left hand was a little bit closer from Beckford. Silla now adopting a high-held guard, drops his hand as he goes over the front foot to close the distance. But you can see that Beckford, the taller of the two boxers, the ranger of the two athletes, 
and Silla hasn't got to grips with the distance yet. That right hand was a scoring shot high on the temple of his Panamanian opponent. But look at the variety being demonstrated by Beckford, scoring effectively with straight punches to both body and head. And Beckford, for my money, has taken that round convincingly. So the man in the blue corner has got a fair amount of work to do to get his charge back into this one because Mohamed Silla has conceded the second round, excuse me, the opening round unanimously. The judge from Canada scoring it 10-8 in favor of Beckford. Remember, in Aiba scoring, 10-9 is for a close round, 10-8 for a clear winner, 10-7 for total domination. And Silla simply couldn't get his boxing together during this opening round, but you have to give Beckford credit for that because he set his stall out early, used his greater reach to good effect, and made life really difficult for Silla with his attempts to try and get inside, launching his attacks from beyond punching distance and really couldn't find the target area with his punches. So into the second round then, and Silla out to center ring quickly and letting his hands go with frequency once again is an increased tempo Evident, excuse me, Beckford out quickly to center ring and letting his hands go. There's an increased tempo from the man in red. Look at that southpaw left once again. That has been a really profitable punch, but still his defense is not really in place. It's as though he's either defending or letting his hands go. And when he is letting his hands go, he's not thinking about the defensive side of the game. And his chin's up in the air, trying to employ the layback on top of that wide-legged stance. First saw Silla in the 2014 Commonwealth Games when he lost to Australia's Daniel Lewis in the first preliminary round. That was at 69 kilograms, welterweight. Here with the reintroduction of the light middleweight division, he's moved up two kilograms north. Comes to the ring as the five-time national champion of Sierra Leone. Beckford took a national Golden Gloves title in Panama a couple of years ago. That right hand by Silla, not too far away as he attempted to put it between the gloves of the man in red. So, Tony Cissé caught up the steps to adjust the belt line of the man wearing blue. Tony Cissé boxed for Sierra Leone at the 2001 World Amateur Championships, the Aiba World Boxing Championships in Belfast. I was ringside for that tournament. And what an outstanding boxer he was in his time representing Sierra Leone and the club of Repton in East London, the green and gold of that club with such distinction during his illustrious career in the Aiba Code of Boxing. Well, is coming forward with aggressive intent, but he's being picked off by a p an opponent who has more experience than he. And look at the variety in the work of Beckford once again. Uppercuts, hooks, straight punches. And Silla hasn't been able to sustain any consistent pressure or enjoy any success. And again, he's so committed to his assaults when he goes forward that his balance betrayed him there and he took a trip to the canvas. So he's showing plenty of determination, plenty of toughness and drive and will, but he doesn't appear to have the tools to make life uncomfortable for Beckford. So Beckford just looking to manage this bout effectively by using his straight punches and he's countering to good effect as well. Really is cutting a composed figure in the boxing ring. Silla not able to make him uncomfortable. Just a good right hand to the body from the man in blue who keeps on coming, but doesn't have the guile or disguise behind his work to make himself an elusive target. And look at the way he's being picked off repeatedly. That backhand has been a really profitable punch right from the opening belt for Eduardo Beckford. Still not able to make the adjustments to avoid it. Two rounds in the book. The first one scored unanimously in favor of Beckford. I suspect the second will be unanimously scored in his favor also.
And there's confirmation. 10-8 for four of the five scoring judges. Clear, clear round in favor of the boxer from Panama. And all he's got to do is remain upright, one suspects. And he'll be going through to the second preliminary round. Some of the action from the second round of action in this contest as we see the effective southpaw left once again. Silla, willing, determined, committed. But he's not been able to avoid the accurate punch picking of the man in red. And he hasn't been able to close the distance. There was a nice left hook from him. But he hasn't been able to close the distance consistently enough to make the man from Panama uncomfortable. So it's going to require a complete turnaround in this contest as Beckford now going down to the body. What a left hook. Sends him heavily to the canvas. Eduardo Beckford and coiling a southpaw left hook that deposits Silla heavily on the canvas. He's beaten the count. The referee tolling the mandatory eight count, but looking closely in his eyes, has stopped this contest in the third and final round. A devastating single shot conclusion brought about by Eduardo Beckford of Panama. And Mohamed Silla, well, we said that his chin was presenting something of an open target as he went in search of his opponent. And didn't Beckford place a perfect left hook on that open chin to deposit his man on the canvas and ultimately out of the world championships. Bitter, bitter disappointment experienced by Mohamed Salah. Words of consolation offered by Tony Cisse in the blue corner. Both boxers will make their way to center ring for us to receive the official verdict. Very good display by Beckford. So, Eduardo Beckford of Panama scoring an inside the distance victory courtesy of a sweet left hook, topping off a performance where he boxed very well, comfortable in the opening round, dominated the second round, and then in the third round, it was a left hook out of the southpaw stance that caught the chin. That was way up in the air from Mohamed Silla, just as it was for the majority of the contest. The wide-legged stance, nowhere to go, didn't lean back to ride the shot, and Silla had a look on his face when he was on his back as if to say, what just hit me? Well, it was that picture-perfect southpaw left hook. Terrific punch picking by Eduardo Beckford, and the man from Panama goes through to the second preliminary round of the men's 71-kilogram light middleweight division here in Belgrade. Nice to see that sportsmanship between the two boxers, and nice